Here's what's happening on Junos Connect. We'll take you deep into the world of data center virtualization and security and show you how to keep your physical and your virtual network in sync. Plus, how does an app firewall module keep your network secure? We'll continue our dive into Juniper's app secure technology with a whiteboard demo. Hi, I'm Kara Suboy. Welcome to Junos Connect, your one-stop video source for all things Junos. Let's start with what's happening around Juniper. The Junos Pulse Mobile Security Suite is here. It's a comprehensive solution for securing and managing smartphones, delivering antivirus, personal firewall, anti-spam, loss and theft prevention, monitoring and control services, plus a robust set of remote device management tools. Find out more about it on Junos Central. Do you want a chance to win an iPad? Well, submit your network configuration to our new library by December 31st, and you will be entered to win. And the more submissions you enter, the greater chance of winning that iPad. Details are on JNet. And speaking of iPads, we now have ebook formats for our day one series booklets. The ebooks run on iPads, iPods, Androids, Kindles, and more. If you're a JNet member, they're free to download, so get yours today. While we're on day one books, be sure to check out the latest, Migrating EIGRP to OSPF. This book charts the migration path from legacy EIGRP to OSPF step by step. And finally, we're gearing up for the next Tech Cafe on November 16th and 17th. It's a 24-hour round-the-clock session about all things SRX with team experts. Mark your calendar and bring your questions and suggestions to JNet. Your virtual and physical networks are managed by different teams. So how do you keep them in sync? Coming up next, how Juniper's solution offers a single point of management. The new network is going to demand a new kind of IT professional. It's going to demand your creativity, your vision, your knowledge. Junos will be the platform for new network innovation, and it'll be more important than ever to keep pace. Getting Junos certified is going to give you the skills you need. It'll help you see your new network vision through it'll set you apart from the competition. Juniper's Fast Track program is designed to help you get started at your convenience. The new network is about you. Welcome back to Junos Connect, your video source for all things Junos. I'm Kara Suboy. Today's data centers have two types of networks, physical and virtual. Joining us today is Driti Mandasgupta, known as Didi, to talk to us about a Juniper solution that makes the impossible task of orchestrating these networks possible. Welcome, Didi. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I understand what a physical network is, but what is a virtual network? So with the advent of server virtualization, and especially technologies from VMware, um, hypervisors now come embedded with a software-based virtual switch. What this switch does is enables communication between the different virtual machines that now reside inside a server. However, at the end of the day, it is a switch. Mm -hmm. And what do you get when you connect multiple switches together? You get a network. This network is invisible because it's residing inside the servers. So we call it the virtual network. But there's got to be a lot of challenges in managing both a physical and a virtual network. How does Ab that happen? <laughs> Absolutely. And that is by far the biggest challenge that our customers face today. How do you manage the physical network and the virtual network and keep these in sync? The big problem is that the physical network is typically managed by the network administrator. And this virtual network, since it's still inside the servers, gets managed by the server administrator. So there is a complete blurring of roles and responsibilities in terms of who manages the network. Mm -hmm. And that is by far the biggest reason for technologies like vMotion from VMware, um, which can fail if the physical network and the virtual network are not in synchronization. So how does Juniper get them in synchronization? What is their solution? So Juniper's solution is based on top of our industry-leading Juno Space platform. What we've done is we've created a new software application that resides on top of Juno Space called Virtual Control. What Virtual Control does is it allows a single point of management for both the physical and the virtual network from a single pane of glass. And what would you say sets Virtual Control apart from you know, other competitors in the industry? So while some of our competitors have some solutions to keep the physical and the virtual network in synchronization, those are based off of text-based tools. 
And we all know the problems with text-based tools. They're extremely prone to errors. Mm -hmm. Juniper is the first vendor that has provided a solution to manage both the physical and the virtual network from a single pane of glass in a web-based tool. So this leads to dramatic improvement in server virtualization deployments. It leads to a dramatic reduction in the number of errors that could potentially happen if the physical and the virtual network were to be out of sync. Why is this a great solution for customers deploying VMware? So apart from you know, doing this automated orchestration and providing the single pane of glass for managing the physical and the virtual network, the whole solution is based upon open architecture. And that completely coincides with the solutions that VMware is providing, mm -hmm. which are open. So this allows our customers not to get locked in into a proprietary, customized solution. Juno Space Virtual Control works with VMware technologies today, and in the future is going to work with any other hypervisor vendor in the industry, because it's based on this open architecture. Thank you so much for joining us, Didi. Thanks for having me, Kara. For more information, be sure to register for the live webcast on November 2nd. Didi will take a deep dive into the virtualized data center. Don't go away. Next up, nested applications. Mm -hmm. And in this example, if Google Docs... Will we'll show you how Juniper's app secure technology can stop them in their tracks. Want to win a free iPad? You can't win if you don't join JNet. As a JNet member, you get access to premium programs like free Juno's day one book downloads. Plus, access to the new configuration library where you can find network configuration examples submitted by other Juniper users. And if you submit one of your own configurations, you'll be able to win a free iPad. So what are you waiting for? Become a JNet member today. Welcome back to Junos Connect. I'm Kara Suboy. Ever wish there was an easier way to simplify security policies and enforce application traffic? With us today is Alex Waterman to show us how the application firewall module in the App Secure Suite can do just that. Welcome, Alex. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Kara. Why don't you start by telling us more about the App Firewall technology? So the cornerstone of Juniper's application firewall is the ability to accurately uh, identify application traffic that's on your network. Traditionally, applications could be identified using a combination of port and protocol number, so the security devices such as a firewall, a network firewall, could, uh, could be used to uh, control traffic that is onto your network based on port and protocol. But today, that's really changed, and a lot of applications are being delivered using standard web-based protocols, such as HTTP or HTTPS, for instance. So there is no unique port and protocol associated with that application, so that uh, firewall type devices can no longer get the, the kind of visibility into what kind of application is there to be able to control what's on your network. So how do Juniper's app firewall technologies detect and then block these nested applications? So as traffic enters your firewall, uh, it is analyzed and goes through an, uh, it's a combination of stateful inspection, heuristics, uh, protocol decoding, and finally application signatures that allow Juniper's uh, application firewall to uh, uniquely identify an application within that traffic flow. Can you give us an example of a nested application? My favorite example of a nested application is Google Docs, which is a file sharing application. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have a standard port or protocol associated with it, and instead is delivered using, it could be delivered using standard web-based protocols such as HTTP or HTTPS. So in that instance, if uh, if you have a firewall policy that allows all your HTTP traffic, you're inadvertently allowing your Google Docs traffic where that might be counter to your security policy for your company where you don't want to allow file sharing. Can you show us how a policy may work that would let the application through but not necessarily a nested app? So what we have on the top here is our standard, or a standard example of security policies on a firewall where we're going to allow through or permit our web-based traffic of HTTP and HTTPS, sure. but we want to deny all the rest of that traffic. Mm -hmm. And in this example, if Google Docs was being transported or, or going over HTTP, then we would be letting that through our firewall policy as well, because we just don't have the granularity to be able to uh, d detect and then block uh, Google Docs type traffic. Right. What we've done with Juniper's application firewall is enhance our policy definition to be able to include the actual application, irrespective or irregardless of port or protocol, mm -hmm. so that uh, through our application identification, we'll be able to determine that the actual application on the wire is Google Docs or FTP, and then we can actually deny that traffic. And so uh, we can let 
standard web-based protocols like HTTP and HTTPS through, but specifically if Google Docs or FTP was on your network, we could deny that at the application level. Right, you can customize it to how your business needs to run and operate. Absolutely. Great, well Alex, thank you so much for the whiteboard. Appreciate it. Thank you. And that is it for this episode. I'm Kara Suboy. We'll see you next time right here on Junos Connect.